laid out. This is my modified sledge fire. Uh, nothing crazy, just an AR removal and a five kilogram spring. A couple of little quality of life improvements to make it easier to prime with the heavier spring load. Um, most of the day I'm running around with this in the barrel. This is a guy on eBay, Southeast Sluggers. It's just a singling shell and I usually shoot worker Steffens out of it. So I leave this in the gun, Steffens in there, and put that in the gun. Let's go ahead and fire it. I shoot one. I'll just shoot it out there. Oh, far. So, yeah. Decent accuracy, nice and repeatable, but the, lo the loading time is so slow. You've got to play kind of a rifleman line fighter and stay far away. But when they get too close, I have the old trusty slug fire shells. Yep. And if they get past that, I have an Orange Mod Works hammer shot kit with their metal hammer and trigger and their six round cylinder. And their, uh, I think it's like a five kilogram spring in this too. Why don't you yeah. explain the knee pad you got there? Well, it's for when my old man knees, if I ever need to take that kneeling shot, you know, accuracy is very important in Nerf. Our guns are very precise. Yeah. So you need something to rest Like a sniper rifle. So when you're holding your modded sledge fire in one hand and your hammer shot in the other, you need that basis it's just support. the stability. It's very important, right? So yeah. that's the idea behind that. All right. 